What's up, you guys? Welcome to my winter to spring transitional lookbook. I am partnering up with Nordstrom today to show you guys eight different looks to help you go from cold weather to those warmer, beautiful spring days. I hope you guys enjoyed. Everything mentioned in today's lookbook will be down below in the description box in case you guys want to check that out. If you enjoy my lookbooks, please feel free to show me some love and give me a thumbs up. I love you guys. And let me know what your favorite outfit is down below in the comments and let's get started. Starting out with outfit number one, we're just going to jump into like my favorite outfit right now. This outfit combination starts with a simple tank top. This this one's a little bit more slinky, it's a little bit more exposed, kind of like a nice tank to go into summer when it gets really hot. Then on top of that, I have a thicker cardigan. This one is long, it's simple, it's minimalist, but it's got this beautiful oatmeal color that I think works really well with all of the spring colors. This cardigan has been keeping me very warm during those weird like 60 degree windy days. Then moving on to the star of the show, this has broken me out of my comfort zone. I'm so in love with these super on trend jeans. These are high waisted straight leg two-tone like color block jeans with the crazy popular frayed hem. I just love all these words, you guys. These jeans are so comfortable. You guys know I like to wear very skin tight, skinny jeans, and this has really opened up so many new looks in my wardrobe. So I paired these with just some simple nude um, pointy-toed pumps, give this a little bit more of like a sexy ladylike look. And then for my bag, I went with this tasseled like everyday shoulder bag. I thought it was really cute for spring, a nice cream color to go with all the soft light tones of this outfit. You have the simple tank that you can wear into the warm weather, but the cardigan is gonna keep you warm right now. And this is just a great example of whenever you try a new trend that catches your eye, you create more opportunities for your wardrobe and then further figure out your own personal style. Moving on to outfit number two, let's celebrate two other quintessential spring essentials. We got florals and we got ruffles. Both of them obviously are really relevant to the season. The ruffles are a really big thing right now. And this sweet dress combines both of them in just a really beautiful way. The color palette and the pattern is just loud enough to make a statement, but not too busy to not match with a lot of different things. I then pulled in my favorite suede jacket from the fall season to rough up this sweet dress a little bit. Suede is also a a very nice spring material to whip out, especially when it's not too hot yet. And then for my accessories, I went with a really cute pair of platform espadrilles. This is actually a very popular pair that sells out really fast because they're insanely comfortable and they make your legs look miles long. I like this color because it matched perfectly with the jacket. And then because I was getting like some date night vibes from this look, I paired it with a clutch. This is one of my favorite clutches. It's $25. It is such a minimalist design that matches with so many things, holds a bunch of stuff, and I have it in several colors. So this is a great look for you girly girls out there. If you have warmer weather, this is just a sweet look and you can easily take the jacket off and wear this into the summertime. Moving on to outfit number three, let's switch things up and get a little sporty. This is a nice, just everyday casual look, especially when I'm doing a lot of walking. I like to wear more athletic shoes. Starting from the top, I have one of my favorite transitional pieces. This is a short sleeve sweatshirt. You get the thickness and warmth of a sweatshirt, but you have some exposure in the arm, so it's not too hot. Paired this guy with some new AG smoky distressed jeans. I wanted this look to have more of like a roughed up tomboy feel. And then for my shoes, these are a brand new pair of New Balances. I love New Balances because they have really nice arch support and the colors in this pair is like perfect. You guys know how much I love them earth tones. And then for the final accessory, of course, my baby mini backpack from the fall season. As I mentioned at the beginning, if I'm out and about and I need to run like some serious errands and do walking but look really cute, I need to be hands-free. I need to be able to walk. And this outfit combination is a great go-to look for that. All right, moving on to outfit number four. This one is more of like a polished look. I am bringing in one of my winter coats into this outfit because it was getting really cold in California. So my main spring piece is this lightweight blouse. It features a nice V-neck, the very popular cold shoulder trend. Then I tuck that into some brand new jeans. These are also from AG. These have the very cool step hem. It's very dramatic and it's so cool because you expose that front area of the ankle to make your legs look long with without having to cuff your jeans. Then I layered on my Topshop camel jacket. You guys remember this from the fall to winter season. If you're in a place where this is too much warmth, you can definitely trade this out for a camel colored trench coat. And then for accessories, I went with my simple Clues metal mesh watch and this new mini purse that looks adorable. 
I like that the hardware matches really well with the watch. It's very simple, clean, classic. Rebecca McGuff has just been killing it this season. I'll show you guys all my new purses a little bit later. But anyway, back to my shoes. These are the most comfortable four inch neutral mules. They are my favorite if I'm looking for a high heeled slip on mule. And so this look is honestly very versatile. I like it when I want to look a little bit more put together, dressed up and polished. You get some essences of spring with the blouse and the mules, but the coat will save you when the wind chill comes. Then moving on to outfit number five, it would not be spring without the military jacket. I got a new one this season to show you guys. The core of this outfit though starts with this v-neck linen high low hem dress. This one is very lightweight and breathable for the warmer weather, but then I layered on top of that this olive colored Madewell fleet jacket. I like that this one is longer and also nice and fitted. It doesn't feel too bulky. And then I just had some more fun with layering in this look, so I brought in one of my lightweight fall scarves that had more of like a gauzy, um, thinner material, and then brought in a Rebecca Minkoff camera bag, and also my fall sock booties that you guys saw all the time. Wanted to bring some more fall accents into here to show that, hey, you can mix and match as much as you want. This outfit paid homage to both my love of dresses and also utilitarian accents. Then going back to comfy casual with outfit number six, a denim jacket is also another very common piece of outerwear for spring. This look, I started out with one of my favorite t-shirts. This was one of the t-shirts I got during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I have still loved it. It's one of my favorites. It's got a pocket. It's got that DV. Very loose and comfortable. And then I paired it with a distressed denim jacket. Denim jacket seems to be also a very popular thing this year. The more rougher, the better. And then I wanted to show you guys a different pair of pants besides jeans. So I have one of my um, favorite sweatpants that I also got last year in the fall time. These are super thick motorcycle inspired joggers from the Sincerely Jewels line. And their color kind of inspired me to keep things really simple with my accessories. So I've got my favorite reversible tote bag in a light gray color to match the sweatpants. And then I have these sick new sneakers. Freaking platform sneaker espadrilles. Um, yes ma'am. Could not believe how airy and lightweight these were. These have just the softest uppers and I can walk all day in these. A really cool edgy piece if you're looking for a white sneaker with a unique twist. This is a fresh, clean, minimalist version of Comfy Casual. Then moving on to outfit number seven, let's go back to something a little bit more professional. Another favorite outer piece is going to be a boyfriend blazer. Starting off the top, I have a loose swing tank top that I can transition into spring for the sake of this look though. I tucked it in to make it seem more of like a fitted tank top. I then brought out my white jeans. I love white jeans because they signify spring and summer, but they still give you some more coverage and warmth. And then for, of course, the topper, I have this brand new blazer. This is a beautiful dark navy color, but it has some really cool raw edging along the sleeves. And then the bottom perimeter has this really cool contrasting pinstripe white and navy material. It just gives a casual accent to something that's more formal, so it just makes it a little bit easier for everyday wear. Bringing in my favorite high-heeled mules. I'm not even playing. These literally can match with any outfit, and they make your legs look super nice and long, and they're comfortable. Triple threat, people. Triple threat. So then for my accessories, I went with my Rebecca Minkoff Reagan tote bag. I've been wearing this nonstop. It fits my entire life, but it's still thin enough, so it doesn't feel really bulky, and it's just super high quality. I love this bag. So you get spring with the white denim, you get some prepster vibes. This is something I would wear for a nice casual business meeting or a lunch date. All right guys, in the final look, I wanted to bring something in with a skirt and I personally really love street style. I see this a lot. I paired um, one of my favorite crew neck sweaters from the fall season. You guys remember I wore this all the time. Then I tucked that guy into a lightweight pleated midi skirt. The midi skirt I thought was more appropriate since it's not full blown spring yet, but obviously the chiffon material is very soft and lightweight and airy. And then I just paired it with um, my new little mini bag. I just thought it was a great proportion for this outfit. And then lastly, I think the key component to this combination is some fresh white sneakers. I'm using the same new pair that I just showed you guys. I also really like that it has a navy backing to the shoe. It matched perfectly with the skirt. So wanted to show you guys this look because I love street style. This is a great comfortable outfit that might be a little bit different than what you would normally grab from your closet. And I like that I have to be self-conscious about my legs, but I still get the nice mobility of a skirt. All right guys, that does it for today. 
today's lookbook. As I mentioned before, everything shown in today's video will be down below in the description bar. We got a couple pants looks, we got jeans looks, skirt looks, dress looks. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Also, thank you to Nordstrom for continuing to work with me. I have been so loyal to their brand for since I was a kid and it's just a continuing dream of mine to work with them and for you guys to be supporting me and showing me so much love. You guys just make my freaking life. I love you guys to death. Have an amazing rest of your week. Hit me up at, at Miss EJ Louie if you want to chat and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye! Mwah!